All right, welcome back, everybody. GSA Endless Mode League Expert Super Mario Maker 2. We've got two new competitors here. We've got Cool Kid and Failstream. I am Glitch Cat, and I will be seeing us through this match today. We are just about ready to start. It is a best of three. We are going to play all three of the matches because they all count for points. So uh, let's get ready to roll. Uh, look at some noise in chat if you guys are excited. And we are off. Failstream versus Cool Kid. So let's see what we're starting out with here. Cool Kid on the left looking like a speedrun type of level and Failstream navigating through some SMB1 style platforming. Uh, once again, these racers uh, are going to be not only looking at the difficulty of the level, but trying to surmise how long it's going to take for them to clear it, because not only do we want to get uh, you know clear levels and get points on the board, but we want to do it quickly, because they've only got that 15 minute time limit. So Cool Kid moving through right now, looks like he has to collect a couple of red coins. And uh, if the timer, oof, the timer ran out for him, we're going to see whether or not Cool Kid wants to stay on that level. Uh, can be kind of a risk. You know, on the one hand, he knows what to do. He got to the end. On the other hand, maybe he doesn't want to waste so much time and lives. And Failstream picking up an easy win in that silly little spring level. So Failstream up 1-0 and right now. Cool Kid trying to make it out of this uh, tough speed run level, and he gets it going in the door at the end instead of running all the way around down there. So that is all tied up one-to-one -one for Failstream and Cool Kid right now. Really good clears, uh, definitely really fast. That 15 minutes, you want to get a, get a couple of clears out right at the beginning of the match, and good job for both of them. So you'll notice uh, Failstream, you'll probably see Cool Kid doing it too, pausing right at the beginning of the level. And uh, what they're doing is checking what the posted world record on their given level is. And if they notice that it's something like uh, you know three or four minutes for a world record, that might be an immediate skip because they know that whatever they're coming up against is going to be really, really lengthy and cost them a lot of time. You're looking for short levels in these. Looking for short, easy, and maybe a little bit silly. Failstream flying through some clear pipes right now and Cool Kid skipping out on the precision new soup uh, jumping level. Hey, hey, my match is my match is, is up next. All right, you got you guys will wait to find out how that one goes down. Right now we got Failstream and Cool Kid currently one to one. Cool Kid picking a new level. Failstream sticking on this uh, strange new soup type of, type of level. Oh, I'm sorry, this is 3D World. My bad. Can't even recognize the style. Failstream's in a good position right now, though. Even though he doesn't know what's coming up in the level, he has a power-up. And that can always just be such a such a nice little bit of security. Taking a damage boost there, but it's not going to wreck his entire run. And if he can just survive, maybe even try to pick up some other power-up. No, he gets it. Two and one right now for Failstream on a nice clear of a pretty messy level. Cool Kid right now looking to grab that checkpoint. That's going to be a lot of security for him as he makes his way through this icy Super Mario World style level. He probably does not want to touch the moon there because the moon will erase all the sprites on the screen, erasing the cannons out from under him. But Cool Kid, with the really sad rip, dying <laughs> one bounce away from the end of that level. Top 10 things you hate to see. But uh, it looks like Cool Kid's got no trouble with this one now. Getting the clear. Two to two now. Cool Kid versus Failstream. Failstream going through what appears to be an on-off block type of speedrun level. These can be uh, pretty crazy. Failstream making it look easy, though. Good trust. Sometimes with those on-off block levels, you never know what's coming up. But if you just run, <laughs> just run and jump and trust it. Uh, Failstream, no stranger to uh, get good, getting good blind reads. So three to two right now. Failstream up three, Cool Kid with two as they both search for a good level. Failstream checking the record. Cool Kid just trying to go for it. Cool Kid's got an interesting one here, and I always worry a little bit about levels like this. He has a clear condition. He has to reach the goal as Mega Mario, which means that if he takes any damage at all during this run, he would lose his clear condition, but gracefully, skillfully, making it to the goal. Uh, I bet he's pretty lucky, but he's pretty happy, rather, that uh, that was a pretty short level because a losing your power clear condition can be really rough. Sometimes, uh, you know, there's other ways to get your clear condition back, 
But if they only give you one power up at the beginning of the level and you get halfway into that, you lose your power up, you're done. Very dangerous clear, but a good one for Cool Kid. Three to three right now, all tied up with 10 minutes to go. Oof, fail stream having to get up this uh, this staircase of on-off blocks here. We've seen this a lot in, in Mario Maker levels. Everybody loves the on-off blocks. Fail stream having a little bit of trouble, but getting through there, no problem. Oh, and now, oh geez, he's got to do it again. But he does have a damage boost, which is really going to help him out here. Meanwhile, Cool Kid trying to uh, get a what appears to be a Kaizo trick. Uh, he wants a spring drop here. So if, if you're unfamiliar with the way that would work, he more or less wants to jump up in the air, throw the spring underneath his feet, and then contact the spring while it's in midair. And that's obviously going to get him a higher jump. Uh, yeah, this is a Kaizo training level. And uh, Cool Kid now having to do a P-Switch jump, same sort of thing. Throw the P-Switch underneath your feet in the air and get a mid-air jump off of it. A lot of item abuse Kaizo tech is involved with getting mid-air jumps off of certain things. And it looks like up next for Cool Kid, if he can get this P-Switch, is going to be a shell jump. But fail stream, ooh, geez. Cool Kid putting the pressure on, putting the shelmet on for a damage boost. That's very uh, clever. Nice shell jump. Fail stream coming up four to three right now as Cool Kid enters into this bomb surfing section uh he does have the checkpoint though which is really gonna help out oh no cool kid needed to move that bomb to blow up the blocks that were underneath the bill blaster there he's not gonna be able to get through without it so he is kind of just burning time right now he might want to try to get back to the beginning and see if he can respawn but a death would do that same thing Failstream's stuck in an auto-scroller right now, and it's very slow. But that might not be a reason to bail on the level, even in a GSA run like this, because there doesn't seem to be a lot of danger. And I've done this too, where I stick on a longer level that isn't very scary, simply for the safety factor involved with that. Ooh, tough wall jump for Failstream, dying on that thwomp. And Cool Kid just needs to nail one more spring drop. So, fun fact, these spring drops that Cool Kid's trying to do used to be a lot easier in Mario Maker 1. Uh, there were week 1 levels that had them in, and because of the way that Mario Maker 2 changes the physics of things being dropped, it uh, has made these types of tricks substantially more difficult in the sequel. Things drop. When you're holding an item and you drop it, it uh, tends to go way far in front of you right now instead of sort of down and underneath you and that makes uh, lining these tricks up a lot more difficult with a tighter window to do it. The one block entry really getting uh, getting Cool Kid down right now <laughs> as he tries. He might want to be a little bit more out from the wall so he can kind of slide himself in. But in any case, he's, he's a hop, skip, and a jump away, away from tying it up with Failstream right now. Failstream with good strats, bringing a shell. You saw he sort of brought a shell along with him, uh, and that acts like a little bit of extra power. You could use it to run into an enemy or clear the way for yourself, and um, it can be really good in, in races like this, no matter where you're at, to have the kind of presence of mind to think, okay, I might lose a little bit of time, but if I stop to pick up a power-up or a shell or a shelmet or something, that might uh, help out later on, and more often than not, it certainly does and Failstream kind of working through that right now. He's lost his power, so he needs to be very careful because if he dies here, the auto-scroll is going to start him back at the beginning, and that is going to be really, really bad. It's going to waste a lot of time, but he's getting in the door. Again, Failstream bringing a PAL block. He doesn't have to do that. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. He doesn't need it for the level. But it was available to him, so he's bringing it. And he may end up being able to use that to kill an enemy, clear the way for himself. Um, little things like that where you just take a little bit of extra time to bring an item or give yourself a little bit of safety. And there's Cool Kid finally getting in that one tile man gap and clearing the level, tying it up. Failstream being stuck in this auto-scroller right now means that he is not able to put the pressure on Cool Kid. It's 4-4 four to four right now with five minutes to go in the first match. Failstream with a shot at it. He does not want to nigh here. Gets it. Nice job. Five. Five for Failstream. Four for Cool Kid. It, it, it can be very frustrating to 
you know, it's one thing to die on levels and, oh, no, I got trolled at the end and I died. It's another thing when there's nothing around you like what Cool Kid had to deal with and you're just consistently failing a trick. You know, it feels like you're stuck in a padded room. So big props to Cool Kid for uh, sticking through it with that frustration. You know, this this kind of thing, Super Mario, uh, you know, Kaizo Mario, Mario Maker, that kind of thing is just as much a game of patience as it is skill, dexterity, tech, remembering, things like that. Uh, you know, your mental disposition can really play into it. And just simply not getting frustrated or just being able to work through frustrations in the moment like that can make a huge difference. Failstream right now has a choice. Does he stay on this thwomp? Uh, I'm sorry. Th uh, they, they misspelled it in the title. This th thwomp race. With four minutes to go, he knows what he has to do. He just has to beat the thwomp to the end. He could get a really decisive win right now. If he can keep Cool Kid within one level, he's really going to have a shot here. He needs to stay out in front of that Thwomp, so he's avoiding all the conveyor belts and the red blocks that are going to get in his way. Nice work, Failstream. Getting some really clutch uh, wins here at the end. Six to four now in favor of Failstream, and Cool Kid is really going to have to move. With only four minutes left, he needs a clear right now to hold that gap. And Failstream getting some good RNG now. This speedrun number one, 10 seconds. Uh, you kind of, you don't know with these because sometimes they might be really hard. And other times it's a short little 10 second speedrun. Failstream deciding to stick with it. Cool Kid sticking with his level. I don't know... I don't know if that's a that's a good decision. Wow, we fail stream getting thwomped with uh, seven wins now. This is getting getting kind of rough for Cool Kid, but he's committed to finishing this level out, and it might not be such a bad decision. It, it's sometimes better the better the level that you know than the level that you don't know. <laughs> fail streams level title i'm sorry jumping palooza like yo man i got tickets to jumping palooza you want to check it out oh no what's cool kid gonna do he's at the goal here fail stream uh, he's is he gonna stick with it so the shell is hitting the on off block and that's switching the spikes back and forth and he needs to match the rhythm of that as he wall jumps up that section I heard the Red Hot Chili Goombas were going to play at Jumping Palooza. You know. These placers are allowed to skip any level that they want and can do so as much as they want. Um, skipping is just as much a strategic decision uh, as a, a tactical, sort of practical one. Failstream taking a death and Cool Kid coming up for another win. He's got five to Failstream's seven right now. Cool Kid... With two minutes to go, Cool Kid might want to start really skipping hard. He uh, would do really well to find himself a couple of short, easier levels right now. He, he needs a 10-second speed run. Oh, here we go. Dice, 20 seconds. So he needs 43 coins in this level. Meanwhile, Failstream trying to secure his eighth win. Boy, if Cool Kid could one-shot this level, he uh, would be in a much better position right now. But it's looking kind of rough. And Failstream pulling down the eight. Failstream just with that. Look at that sip. He knows. Failstream playing it cool. Cool Kid, meanwhile, trying to commit to this, uh, this speed run level. He almost had it, but he didn't get the boost off the cannonball. Eight to five in Failstream's favor with one minute to go. Failstream, you can tell, is really trying to put the pressure on right now. He may not know how many clears Cool Kid has. I, I don't think they're communicating. Um, so, you know, you see him trying to just run. In these sections where there really isn't anything going on, there's not a lot of enemies or anything, it might be in your best interest just to not be cautious, especially because you want that extra time because you are always fighting the timer. And Failstream, oh my gosh! What are we seeing here? Failstream almost making a play for the all-time record for clears. Nine for Failstream right now. 
really, really big plays. 20 seconds left. Cool Kid hoping to clutch this out. Nice job, Cool Kid. Nice work. Really good job on that speedrun level. Six to nine right now. And Cool Kid down only three lives, but with only 16 seconds, it's not going to matter. Veilstree might want to get another cheeky one here on this really easy one screen level, but nine seconds to go. It looks like this is going to do it for this match. Boom. Time. Failstream takes game one. Nine to six with a really good rally from Cool Kid right at the end. We will be getting ready for match two as soon as these racers are going. We are going to race all three of these matches. Uh, even if somebody wins two, uh, every match counts for points. So if, uh, if someone could win the final match but lose the other two, they would still get some points toward their ranking. Uh, as, as the last place player in GSA, I should know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in good fun. We're getting ready here. Cool Kid is uh, just getting out of this level, and Failstream is waiting up. So we're going to start the next match in just one second. Is the record 11 from IPK? Okay. We'll keep that in mind, because Failstream looks like he's trying to he's trying to break some world records today. <laughs> cool kids level you oh geez this is actually really good for cool kid if i were him i would hang out on this level and throw some lives away you it is really advantageous to get a clear in the first i'd say two minutes of a gsa match that really puts you at a good position uh to get some really quick clear so even though he might throw some lives and some time away on this if Cool Kid can just get this one silly jump, speedrunners hate him, of course. Find out how this one Cool Kid gets the flagpole in one jump. But that would really, uh, that would really play into Cool Kid's favor, especially because Failstream right now is hung up with this boss and the big dangerous Fugu swimming around. So that's slowing him down a little bit. There, oh, I thought that was it. The giant hitboxes on these spikes have been the subject of countless memes and sad nigh deaths on levels throughout the years. Um, the spike hitboxes on Mario Maker 2 are especially big. They take up like the entire square around that spike and they can be really like deceptively large. You cannot sneak past them. But Cool Kid with the really good trajectory, good jump control, getting in there and the world record too. Get some extra cool points for that. And that's what I'm talking about with those short levels right off the bat because Cool Kid is up 1-0 now against Failstream and has got a little bit of momentum. While Failstream still committed to this pretty janky looking Cat Mario 3D World level. Man, Cool Kid getting some good breaks right now. This level also doesn't seem to be too bad. Maybe it might be long, it might be a little bit annoying, but the thing is there's no enemies. And dying can really be the worst uh, and lead to, you know, not only a lot of time loss, but a lot of frustration, too. And like I said, there's so much of a mental game about this. Just staying patient, staying observant, you know, looking at the level, figuring out, okay, maybe if I tried something new instead of trying the same strat over and over again, hoping that it'll work. So Failstream needs to kill this Bonsai Bill, and he has done it. He's got the P-Switch to hopefully get him into the gate. Really good. Nice job. Is he going to get it? Yeah, he knows where he's going. Nice job. Really good Cosmic Brain play from Failstream. One to one now, Failstream and Cool Kid, as Cool Kid looks for a better level. Failstream is a, a really talented maker. Uh, one of the, I'd say, dare say, one of the most well known makers in Mario Maker 2 and Mario Maker 1, making the Fails Flotilla series of levels, some of the most difficult cape levels in all of existence. And Fails levels often have a lot of machinery in them. A Thwomp will come down and hit a switch that activates a teeter-totter that does something else and creates this crazy effect. And so one thing you might see Failstream do is commit to levels that look a little bit weirder, a little bit wilder with all kinds of crazy stuff going on. It is a legitimate skill for players to be able to sort of, I call it navigating chaos. And Failstream, I think, is particularly good at that. So watch to see if he'll... Uh, come up with any clears of just really insane levels right now doing some platforming jumps on Yoshi as cool kid is working through this speed run not fast enough though that's a really tricky thing getting a speed run in a GSA match like this you know the creator says 
20 seconds, uh, and you're hoping that it's an easy 20 seconds. It's a forgiving 20 seconds. But sometimes they are the most optimized, insane, you cannot bonk or touch anything, plus do this one weird trick type of uh, levels. And it can be really dangerous because you never know just how optimal that timer is. Cool Kid, however, being the accomplished speedrun player that he is, making it look easy and tying it up one to one right now. Or I'm sorry, two to one. I'm sorry, two to one. Cool Kid up, two clears, two fails. Oh, nope, sorry. Wait, hold the phone, scratch that, reverse it. Two to two. Cool Kid and fail stream tied with 10 minutes and 40 seconds left in the match. Oh, I hope Cool Kid doesn't skip this level. I love these. Oh, no, don't go. No. Cool Kid, no. Ah, oh. Ah, oh, Cool Kid. I love those levels. You run across a whole lot of blue skull blocks, and they go on the lines that um, make them move in such a way that it looks like a big ocean wave. Love those, man. Those levels are so fun. Failstream now doing... Looks to be a kind of an easier speedrun level. Oh, no. He got trolled. He picked up those red coins and then went into the locked door, <laughs> and it took him right to death. Ugh. You know, it, it's it's one thing when you're trolling players that are just playing your levels for fun, but it, these guys are in a GSA match right now. Like, come on. Come on, man. Cool kid, trying some strats with the builder costume. You can hold up and create blocks, and you see him creating these blocks out of nothing and then uh, tossing them into the lava. That is a thing you can do with the builder costume. Hopefully that's the right strat, and it is. Nice job for Cool Kid getting across that lava on those one-tile jumps. Three to two right now. As Failstream tries to get out of this troll prison. Oh no, the fire bars. Oh. Pyramid 50 coins, big trick. You guys ready to see some big tricks? Cause this level apparently has them. Ooh, with nine seconds, fail stream. Look out, buddy. Getting in there. Oh no, cool kid's thinking whether or not he wants to skip this. It's a quick level, but that rising lava is really going to be an issue. If he doesn't move perfectly, he will probably die, yeah. Unfortunate skip for Cool Kid. You don't want to skip something short like that, but gosh. 3-3 three to three right now, all tied up with eight and a half minutes to go. So I think, I think Failstream's clear condition here is that he needs to be holding the POW block. I, I think I read that correctly. Oof. Meanwhile, Cool Kid dealing with some really tricky platforms. I actually really like this level that Cool Kid's on. I, I like the way the platforms kind of rise out of the lava in a tricky way. This would be a, this would be a great level. Hopefully it'll get Cool Kid a win here. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Nice recovery. Cool Kid. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that was an amazing recovery. Those cannons moved in a really weird way, and Cool Kid didn't die. <laughs> Great reaction time, and that earned him a checkpoint. Oof, tough breaks for Failstream. He's not... I'm not sure where he would go right now. Getting that Shelmet, he needs to bring the POW with him. So, let's see. What are Failstream's options? I think he's trying to go into that blue pipe. And he wants to do that by standing on one of the shells that is surfing, so he can be standing on the ground and have access to that pipe. I'm pretty sure that's what he's waiting for. He can't lose the POW or try to do a trick with it, because... Okay, he... Puts the pile down to go in the pipe. So he's learning a little bit, but now he's lost his clear condition. So you got to think Failstream is hoping that there will be another pal somewhere for him. Because otherwise this is lost time. Ooh, tough break for Failstream. That was, that was tough to commit uh, to holding that pal. 
Meanwhile, Cool Kid is just going through this swamp here, trying to avoid things falling and uh, just making his way out of the lava. He's got to be really careful because although he has the bone bucket, which allows him to swim through the lava, any damage that he would take would remove it and immediately punch him to his death. Oh, Failstream. You got to feel like Failstream's happy about that. What a consolation prize for the last level. He's even got this confused look on his face like, was that all right? Was, was, <laughs> was that cheating? I don't, I don't think so. Nice, nice RNG for Failstream going up four to four and Cool Kid answering right back on his Poison Lava level. It is a dead heat right now with five and a half minutes to go. Failstream's got a Goomba up there, or not a Goomba. He's got a Lakitu up there, dropping uh, dropping Goombas on him, Galo or uh, Goombrats rather. If he could get up high enough, he would definitely try to steal that cloud and try to skip uh, this sort of intervening section here. Cool Kid with another clear on a short level. This is really putting some wind back in his sails. Up six to uh, wait, what's the score? Yeah, five five to four. <laughs> I'm sorry, make that five to five. These players right now, I am loving the sync. Just answering back uh, neck and neck right now, five to five. Cool kid dealing with some little grabby claws right now. Ooh, not too much going on in this level for Cool Kid. He is so close to the goal. He you can almost taste it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Cool Kid. Oh, no. <laughs> come on, level designer. These, these guys have places to go. They're in a race, right? Come on. Have some decency. Think of the players. Oh. Oh my word, that, that really hurts. Oh no. Failstream trying to avoid Kaizo blocks of his own. Dealing with these beat blocks is going to force him to move uh, kind of slowly. Not always the best thing, but uh, it's safe at the very least. And now as the cat, he's going to have to cut through these blocks before the platform below him appears. I am not sure where Cool Kid is at right now. He is trying his best to make sense of this situation, but ultimately decides to skip. Man, that... I, I, I don't think I've ever seen someone get so robbed. He was right there. He was... You could see it. You could see the goal. Unfair, dude. Quick moves for fail, getting through that P-Switch block section. Well, he's got another one. Nice job, Failstream. We are, what, five, six and six right now? I'm so sorry, I forgot the score. I'm literally dumb. Six for Failstream. I think five for Cool Kid? We'll get the official word. Cool Kid working through... Yeah, this is a speedrun level. He might be trying some cheese. Boy, this can be weird to route these speedrun levels. If you, don't, if you don't have an intuitive sense of what the maker wanted and how they wanted you to flow through that, it can be really tough to get that on the fly and to recognize the way you're supposed to go. It looks like Cool Kid wants to stay on those green Koopas and bounce off all of them individually so that the bomb timer will time out and blow up the on-off switch that will flip the blocks that he needs. And I'm not sure, not sure if Cool Kid realizes that or not. Failstream with a uh, nice little squadron of blue platforms taking him right to the ax. Wowee. Six, oh no, he killed Yoshi. That was deliberate, Failstream. That was a deliberate, intentional, cold-blooded Yoshi kill. Hmm. Seven to five right now for Failstream as Cool Kid makes a skip. Let's go. 
no, what 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 bravado? What bravado from Failstream over here? Well, it's okay. Don't worry because uh, the official lore is that Yoshi is an actor. He's a stunt dinosaur, and he in fact can't feel any pain. He can swim in that lava just fine. If he falls in a pit, there's some pillows down there for him, and he just runs right off screen and gets right back on stage and does it again. He gets paid and fed well for his troubles, and he actually feels no pain at all. He likes doing it, and he likes helping out. So don't worry, everybody. Yoshi is fine. Failstream working through what in the world? <laughs> What in the world are we even looking at here? Uh, he doesn't want to go in that on that inside that one way. Trying to find his way through as cool kid bouncing on some goombas. Nice job for cool kid getting out of there. That rising lava is rough. Oh, and having the spike helmet uh, would have killed that thwomp if it would have fallen on him. Cool Kid coming up right at the end, 6-8, to eight, the final score for match two. Failstream wins round two, but not uh, not for lack of trying from Cool Kids. 6-8, to eight, the final score. So we are just now getting ready for match three. Even though Failstream won the first two, Cool Kid still has a chance to get some points here. So we are going to play out all three matches. And of course, stick around because there are more exciting matches coming up on GSA. Uh, I believe mine is next. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how it ends, but you'll like it. Getting ready for round three with Cool Kid and Failstream. And we are off, almost, getting ready, getting set. Are you ready, chat? I'm ready. So this is the third match out of three, Failstream having won the first two. But like I said, we are going to play the final match because Cool Kid could still get some points towards ranking here. Oh, geez, Cool Kid with this very interesting boat level. Oh, look at this. He's going to be hanging out on this boat, but uh, looks like he can cheese it a little bit because he doesn't have to hang out in the middle there, and he can jump up on these obstacles. Failstream playing extreme jump but easy. Huh. Yeah. About that. Ooh, man, really good jumps for Fail. Oh, man, he almost has it. I think he, I think Failstream thinks he can, he can get this. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ahem. Jeez, I must be allergic to weird Mario levels. But I think Failstream can get this. He is a really skilled player and can get these little pixel jumps. And yeah, he got it coming up. And that's the thing about the short levels right at the beginning. Really good RNG for fail and good skills committing to that level and clutching it out. Cool kid stuck in a what is essentially an auto scroller right now. But hopefully it's not going to last too long. There you go, cool kid. Nice job. One to one. Yeah, those boom booms were really, really coming for him. Bellstream <laughs> getting out of the way of that thwomp, but it's not enough. Now, what the heck is Cool Kid dealing with here? Some kind of strange maze, pick-a-pipe section. 
Ooh, very bravely going into the middle of those one ways. That could have been a trap. All right, tough situation for Cool Kid right now, fighting the giant Boom Boom with no power-ups, but shouldn't be too much for him to handle. Look out, Cool Kid. All right, he's got the key. Failstream trying to get through those thwomps. He's committing quite a bit to this level. Oh, no, Cool Kid. Oh, no. Oh, man, it has been a disappointing couple of deaths at the goalpost for Cool Kid today. That one in the previous level, and then... I think when he came through that door, he he moved to jump up and land on the platform that the door was on, but then he saw the goal and kind of tried to make a play for it. Kind of faked him out a little bit. That's a tough break. Oof. And there's Failstream taking another one. So this run right now, this life that Cool Kid is on, is pretty critical. Is he going to jump for the goal, or is he going to just go in the door? He takes the door. And that, okay, good. I'm really glad that he didn't get trolled. It actually looked like he could have made the jump for the door. And it was kind of a risk going in that door because maybe you were supposed to just jump for it. But in any case, Cool Kid pulling down the victory. Two to two right now. Fail stream and Cool Kid neck and neck as usual. Oh no, Failstream, what in the world is this? Failstream may have just encountered some sort of glitch level. Yeah, he takes a skip on that, probably wise. That might be some kind of weird soft lock crash game glitch level, we're not sure. Failstream, Failstream choosing to skip the two minute world record level. And Cool Kid fighting through this spaghetti soup. I don't know if Cool Kid knows about the moon, but it would help him out here. Um, he, If he touches the moon, it will destroy all the sprites on screen. I've seen both, uh, both Failstream and Cool Kid um, commit to levels pretty hard, more than other racers. Uh, sometimes, you know, people's strategies will be to try to skip as often and as frequently as they can, looking for those short levels. And sometimes people kind of tend to commit. And it's interesting to see two players that do tend to do that kind of go up against each other. Failstream looking for a way out of this chaos. He gets in the door. Okay, so you can do that. You can enter a door that's one tile off, like floating in the air. You can enter a door like that, but uh, you have to kind of be standing right off the edge. So he knows how to get to the goal. He just needs to defeat one piranha plant. And now instead of trying the door, he's actually just going to make it to the right. Cool kid with a clear on his messy, insane level. Oh, what's your plan, Fail? What's your plan here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Fail stream. He could have had it, He too. He could have waited for the P-Switch to run out. Looks like he's going to try that again. Ah, uh, cool kid. Not braving the unknown here. He, Fail stream's got it now. Going back around into that door. And picking up some extra lives, too. It's one thing uh, that I don't know if it's been mentioned yet today, but it's important to note that if uh, players do game over, uh, they one of their clears will be subtracted from their total. So if you cleared five and then game over, you now have a score of four. So it, it is... We haven't seen a lot of game overs, um, but it is kind of important to be at least trying to grab the flagpole at the top to get an extra life, grabbing some extra coins if it's not too far out of your way, stuff like that, just to help yourself out and make sure you have a buffer. Let's see, what is Cool Kid's plan right now? He's got the tail. Failstream's got the propeller. Both of them in really good situations because if you... Oh, whoops, never mind. Sorry, fail. 
I'll say if you get over a pit, you could maybe fly and save yourself. Ouch. Cool Kid also opting to jump off of that green snake platform. In a level like this that Failstream is playing, uh, Cool Kid as well, but Failstream especially, it's very, very messy. And you notice Failstream not going for that fire flower that was there. He wants to keep his propeller power up as often as he can because in a level like this, generally the way to win, or at least to get yourself in better position, is to stay up. If you can just stay up above all the mess and all the chaos and enemy spam, you're, you're smiling. Oh no, the one thing that can take... Oh no, gosh, the one thing that can take Failstream down. He had the propeller, he had the clown ball, he had the, the trip to space camp and the piece of the aggro crag, but he couldn't stop a thwomp from the sky. <laughs> Best laid plans, you know? So Failstream trying his luck elsewhere and Cool Kid trying his luck in the second half of this level. Rough for Cool Kid right now because this green block is functionally an auto-scroller, just like that boot level. But or that boot level, what am I talking about? The boat level. That's the Canadian Canadian version. But hopefully this is gonna pay off for Cool Kid, and he still has six minutes. Yeah, good clear. Good clear. Cool Kid is not out of this yet, and Failstream might be losing his mind with all this crazy junk going around. Four clears for Cool Kid right now. You gotta wonder if there's a dev star. Oh, look it. Oh, wait. Oh, looks like he found it. Failstream, normally in these levels, uh, the individual that made it will. Uh, Put in a dev star or something, you know, to make it seem like it's all crazy, but actually just find the star and win. Hopefully this is going to be enough for Failstream. He's got the car. Oh, he's in trouble now. I think that's it. Rip. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by a car, Fail. Oh, no. That poison is back, back to get Cool Kid again. It can be so tricky, you know, consider like a vertical section where you're climbing up and up and up and then do that same section, but only now the lava is rising so you can't fall back down. And that, you know, the death hurts and the precision required really hurts, whereas it's a little bit more forgiving if there's no lava rising up. Brave move for Cool Kid sticking with this level, but it looks like he's, he thinks he can do it. One life left for Failstream right now. This is going to be tricky. He does not want to die here. Fail, watch out. Oh, man. Now, this this is a rough spot to be in for Fail. And I, I say that because of the trick of overconfidence. He doesn't have a power-up, so one-hit kill. But there's not a lot here. It's just regular standard boss fights so far. So, you know, do you risk it or do you, uh, you know, try to try to find something with a power up? Oh no! So what is this? So he's got to beat this Bowser, Meowser, rather. And Meowser moves in a really strange way. Keep in mind, too, that Fail is investing a lot of time in this level. And if he dies here, not only is he going to game over, but he has wasted a bunch of time that didn't actually pay off. This is a huge risk for Fail right now, but he's playing pretty sharply right now, so I see no reason to doubt him. Cool Kid struggling to get up this uh, wall kick section here with the spin jumps. Failstream's got a P-Switch. He's got a key. Didn't actually have to defeat that Meowser. Nice. Failstream is happy about that. He gets an extra life, so he has a little bit of safety, and he got the clear. Therefore, the time he spent on it was uh, not entirely wasted. Four wins for Failstream right now. I think five for Cool Kid, if I've kept my count correct. 
Failstream does not want to lose the life. He would really, really like to get another win here and tie it up. Oh, cool kid. Doing all, I feel like, he's doing the best that you can do. Sometimes in these levels, especially vertical levels where you can't quite see what's coming up all the time, you kind of have to die to learn. In a way, you don't. Sure, maybe you could clutch it out. But more often than not, sometimes, you know, you make a wrong jump, you move in a wrong way, and you're dead. And this level is very unforgiving in that way. He's got to have every one of these movements precise. All right, Failstream with a superstar right now, doing a little speedrun section. You might not want to blow those bombs up. You might need them. No, he doesn't. I admire Cool Kid's bravery and determination with this uh, speedrun level. Propeller hat. Oh, no. Oh, Cool Kid. I, I'm really... Oh, sad. And another win for fail, bringing him up to five. Really, really sad skip eventually for Cool Kid. Gotta keep moving on right now. So if I missed my count, it is five to five right now with 50 seconds left. So we may end up going into a tiebreaker where the first player to complete their level will get the final point. Yeah, one life each, too. That is a rough situation to be in because a game over would also break the tie and lose. So any death here. Cool Kid might even just be trying to wait out. Wait out the timer here. Failstream trying to be super careful as well. Uh, my 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 correction. Uh, my my apologies, chat. The score right now is actually five to four in favor of Failstream. They were not tied. That was that was my uh, it was my mistake. I I have been fired. But uh, that is going to do it for match three. Failstream takes all three in a clean sweep, five to four on this match. Thank you all so much for watching. We have got more exciting Super Mario Maker Two Endless League action coming at you on GSA. Uh, feel free to hang out, follow the channel, watch, and get hype for everybody else. I have been GlitchCat7. Thank you for having me. And I hope to join you all for another match and commentate very soon.